Welcome back to my veranda studio. I've done a lot of cutting and gluing and this is to demonstrate how I've just cut off the weeniest bit and I'll show you. This one is slightly keystoned. This is a standard tile. So all I've actually done is nip off the smallest little triangle because there's a big circle uh, just to get that triangle off and that's the space you would get if you didn't do any cutting you can see there's that little triangle that I actually cut off one side of the tile. This means I get a very even grout line in terms of straight from one side to the other so they're all straight. So my grout lines they look like they're wide because it's such a close-up are about two to three mil wide so plenty of room for putting in your cleaning tools but also plenty of room for the grout so to glue those on i've put them straight as you can see i'll get nice and close here right to the edge of this bowl so i can have it um, with or without this bottom bit tiled so if i wanted to tile the bottom bit I would just start with uh, adding tiles here that are level with the top because there's plenty of room for grout to fit in there and then uh, make a terrific border. And of course the big question as always is adhesive. There's a million views about what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to adhesives for bird baths. But there are two key things that you need to think about. Um, one is that the adhesive is suitable for outdoors, so you wouldn't be using something like Well Bond in your bird bath. The other thing that's really important about your adhesive is that it's suitable for um, underwater or ponds or pools or whatever that's going to contain water. So uh, some sealants will do that all right and some don't so with my glues i have um, marine flex which i just love but i also use one called selly's um, roof and gutter but they don't recommend it for underwater situations so in this bowl i will use this one around the edges or underneath here i might use the selly's roof and gutter the other things I like about uh, this particular adhesive is that it's Australian made, of course, and we're supporting, we all support our own country's businesses. And I like black because I'm a black grout user. I use white if tiles are transparent, so it doesn't interfere with the color. <coughs> it's waterproof, so that's an absolute bonus. It's suitable for pools um, and therefore it's going to be non-toxic and it's a waterproof seal um, it can be used above and below water lines which means it's going to be great for a water bowl um, it's also terrific for ceramic tiles which is what I'm using and glass which is what I'm also using here and it's it says non-sagging or non-slumping which means I can glue here on the edges around the bowl and they're not the tiles aren't going to slide down like some of the the um, other outdoor glues like multi prep and such okay now we're ready to glue on so you can put glue on the back pop it on or put a dob of glue on the surface whatever suits you pop them on don't get too fussy to start with I do three or four or maybe five sometimes and then I line them up because it's much easier to line them up at this point and we know that I line things up using my tongue depressor so all I then need to do is put that beside it here and push the tile to the tongue depressor and then I have it exactly level with the outside of the bowl which makes it a perfect circle so I'll have no flat spots around the edge I have nice straight straight grout lines 
and um, all will be well. I'll go and finish off the top of that edge and then I'll come back and we'll have a look at um, how I'm going to start gluing the lovely spiral. Now I have a video on how to make these petal shapes uh, so it's very easy to make flowers so what I've used for the leaves is the same the same activity except that I cut one of these petals in half to get my leaves so let me just grab another one excuse me so this is um, the petal shape cut in half and then I use them like that as leaves super easy now things start to shape take shape it gets really exciting I've got my little baggie already and I've decided that these, um, well, I'm doing the, using the right side of the petal and the curved bit to touch the spiral line looks really terrific. So uh, let's see how we go. I'll, I'll bore you with, the, with all the dark green ones, but that'll give you an idea of what I'm up to. And then once I've done the whole lot, I'll show you what that looks like. So I just put... Um, nice big globs of glue on the bottom using my little baggie so I don't get too messy. So I'm just going to do this right on that curly line. So that is going to be my guide to make sure that edge is um, going to be a beautiful curve because I think at the um, when this is all done the curve or the spiral is going to be the hero of this design. So we just sort of fit it in. We don't have to be overly or overthinking it at this point in time because we can adjust as we go to make sure our curve is right. So you can see it's starting to, the tiles talk to you really, they start to want to curve out. And it's going to create a rather effective spiral. And why wouldn't I just use the same adhesive on everything? The Marine Flex is much more expensive. Um, so I'm trying to be a bit frugal. So it's about $5 more a tube for this amazing glue than the roof and gutter. There are lots of roof and gutters I might add that are okay for underwater. It just so happens that the Sellys brand, after reading all the instructions, isn't. So it's really important to follow the manufacturer's uh, desires for their products. So you can see how that um, spiral is looking pretty neat. Okay. Now I'll um, keep on gluing and I won't bore you with it. We'll come back when I've done most of it so you can see um, how pretty it is. With the spirals all glued and you can see I've um, gone from dark green to mid green to light green to dark green. I've already popped in a half a flower just to add a little bit so you can see what's happening with the spiral. But you aren't going mad. I changed my mind about the center dot it was a bright blue mirror, so now I've turned it into lovely purple mirror. Because that goes with the outside edge, and I'll make all the flowers with this beautiful purple mirrors that I got from 19 Mosaics, and they're really, really lovely. Along with these dark green tiles, which look terrific. Oh, and I think I've got the mid greens there as well. The light greens are the Bunnings ones. So you can see how the placement of those half petals into leaf shapes nicely wrap themselves around that spiral and it almost looks like a giant fern leaf opening up so all the New Zealanders will be very happy with my design I suspect. <laughs> uh, so enjoy doing your design. The next bit I'm going to be doing is finishing off this design which will be mostly these flowers using the petal cut and I'll put a link in to where that um, tutorial is um, and then we'll look at um, cleaning it up and potentially grouting I may even show you my grouting which would be really unusual 
but I will probably do the bottom. Don't know yet, haven't decided. I put a video in our group stream that showed the lovely Kim doing her bird bath using cement based adhesive. So really, at the end of the day, it's what works for you. Um, there are people who say cement based adhesive is the only way to go. There are people who only use silicon. So really, it comes down to what works for you. Have you read the instructions? And will it suit your bird bath? And then just go for, go for it.